Hi folks, welcome to Test Complete Pro Channel. Today we are gonna see how to create framework in Test Complete with JavaScript as scripting language. Hope, you know how to create a project in Test Complete. I have created a project with JavaScript as script language. The first step in the framework is to create DB table to fetch the data from Excel sheet. Go to project and click on variables. Right click and click new item. I'm entering as main sheet and selecting type as DB table. I have created a Excel file already as driver. It has three columns test case ID, function, and run flag. I will come to function column later in this video. Click on triple dot. And select the file and click open. When you click next then you will the sheet available in the workbook and click view sheet to see the data. Now you can click. Click finish and as you can see default value is updated with the file that we selected. Now we are ready to write script. Create a function named driver. When you add a variable in the project variable tab, you can see the name when type project.variables. Each time it is hard to type whole word. So, I'm gonna assign to temporary variable. Let me name it as main sheet and followed by the project variable declaration. It is good to reset the iterator so that it will start from the first row. Check whether the sheet has rows by using as EOF function of the project variable, DB table, if there is no data we can simply write a log with type as warning. Now, 
we have to create a while to iterate into each row to get the details for running the test case. Using value function we can get the value from current row, I'm gonna create temporary variable to store current row test case id, function, and run flag. By using a qString.compare method, we can compare the run flag with yes string, whichever row matching with this then it will get triggered. It is good to get logs aligned with section this can be achieved by using log.append folder. In order to trigger the function from Excel we can use runner.call method which in build function of test complete, another option is to use eval which is not recommended method. It is better to enclose the runner.call method with try catch, if there is an error with one test case we can continue to next test case. Pop out log folder, once all done, 
iterator should be set to next record by using next method. Now, we have to a simple function to execute. I'm gonna create a simple function with some log message. Now, we are all set expect one which creating a project test item to trigger the execution. For that go to project properties and create a new test item with driver function. Open the Excel and update the function column with unit name dot method name in our case it will be test test. It's time to run the project. I'm gonna run the project. Looks like it is executed successfully. Now we should see the log message that we put the test function. Here you go the log message printed which means we created framework. Quick review, 1. Create a DB table 2. Loop through each row in the main sheet by using iterator 3. Using runner.call method function to trigger each function enclosed with try catch 4. That's all. Thank you for watching. Like it if you think it is useful. Comment it if you have any questions. Share it if you think it may useful to other users. Subscribe it if you wanna keep updated with my videos.